Hello folks, welcome to the first classroom based screencast video and you'll need to re-watch this video again and again and again uh, just to make sure you've got everything you need to know about what we're going to be discussing which is muscle fibres. Now you might have done some of this at GCSE level, um, this is a basic overview of muscle fibres but within the lesson will also give you the more detail that you will require at a level which is slightly more complex. So this quick overview and then a bit more detail in the lesson and we're going to put it practically to some different situations. Okay, as a broad overview, muscle fibres are very very thin elements or, or strands within each individual muscle. So you see there in the picture you've got a main core muscle, it's then made up of cross-sectional muscles those sort of areas where the sarcoplasm and the myofibril are and then within those sort of cross-sectional areas you have individual fibres and it's these uh, individual fibres that we're most interested in because they make the genetic makeup of your whole muscle as a group and also tell us what your muscle, muscle itself is capable of so within each individual fibre it might be different fibre types itself but it could generate a whole percentage of what what work ethic your muscles are capable of. I'll explain that in a little while. Okay, essentially we have three different types of muscle fibre which you again might have done in GCSEPE. You have slow twitch fibres which are called type 1. You have fast oxidative glycolytic fibres which are also known as FOGs which are type 2A and fast glycolytic fibres, FGs, known as type 2B. Now in the exam you will get away with saying FOG, FG, type 2B, type 2A, type 1. However, the questions may ask you specifically about fast oxidative glycolytic fibres, for example, and therefore you need to know which name is associated with which. Now going back to that picture, your individual fibres you might have let's say 75% slow twitch individual fibres which would then mean your whole muscle group as a whole if you're taking your biceps brachii or uh, your rectus femoris for example may be more capable of, of, of working at endurance events as opposed to highly explosive events which we'll talk about in a bit so each of those muscle fibres and what specifically they are are really quite important to us as sports scientists and um, physiologists. Okay, so slow twitch fibres type 1. Generally speaking, these are designed for aerobic exercise. So any activity which you have to um, engulf oxygen into your body to work your muscles or to keep them going for, a long, for long periods of time is aerobic exercise. These type of fibres, if they're in any of your muscle groups, are highly resistant to fatigue. They don't tire easily, so they can just keep going for long periods. And generally speaking, they are suited to endurance-based events such as open water swimming. You might have seen that in the Olympics, it's a 10k swim. Or marathon running. Or 10,000 metres, such as Mo Farah's event. Okay. So slow twitch fibres, slow-based events, essentially. The fog fibres, type 2A, a little bit different, they're suited to anaerobic exercise, so where you don't require oxygen, so something that's quite quick doesn't require you to bring in big gulps of oxygen to keep the body moving. It's got a low resistance to fatigue if you compare it to slow twitch fibres, so they don't last very long compared to slow twitch fibres, however, they last longer than type 2B fibres, if that makes sense. So type 2A, I've got more endurance qualities than type 2B, but neither of them compare to slow twitch fibres. The type 2A fibres, the FOGs, also generate slightly less force, so they're not as powerful as type 2B. These type of fibres are best suited for longer anaerobic events, so not short distance or short time events but something such as Sanchez's event where you're doing 400 meter hurdles or 400 meters running 
these days athletes are very quick over 800 meters so at top level you could also suggest 800 meters could be useful for type 2a muscle fibers but 200 meters 400 meters possibly 800 meters at elite level would be based for type 2a fibers which leads us on to the last type which is the fast twitch fast glycolytic fibers fgs or type 2b these are best suited again like type 2a for anaerobic exercise so no oxygen required they have the greatest amount of anaerobic capacity so therefore they can generate a large amount of force or power and they are best suited for explosive events so anything where you need to generate a large amount of force you need to be very quick over a short period of time perfect for type 2b muscle fibers so prime examples are 100 meters 200 meters could be pretty explosive but also don't forget the throws and the jumps jumping where you have to jump up quite explosively so long jump high jump pole vault also as well as the throws so discus shot put javelin okay so run over this screen class very briefly again and again and again make notes on the different types of fibers we will go into more detail about the fibers because you'll need more information for your exams within the lesson but you will need this information for your initial assessment